we get asked several times about a long box versus a short box and how do you maintain a long box versus maintaining a short box. And the reference to a long box is, it, it can be this long, it can be this long. We, we build some shorter boxes that have the long box. The key to a long box is it's very slick on the surface and, and it has very little arch to the paddle um, and it's very slick on here with a very long chamber. But it's not the raspy that you would get. So if you're listening to a long box, very high pitch versus if you're listening to a heartbreaker, really raspy. And so that's how you know the difference between the two. If, you're, if your box has this real high, high, shrill sound, which 100 yards in the woods sounds totally different than what we're hearing right now, it's very distinctive to how you tune and take care of it compared to the other one. If you look at this, there's hardly no chalk on the bottom, and the surface is really slick if you could see it, but it doesn't require a lot. You want this surface to be very slick right here. If it, if it was rough, you're gonna get that texture in it, which makes it the rasp. And you're not wanting the rasp, you're wanting the high pitch. This box also leads very far up. And so the chamber being so long, you're leading way up here on your first note to get that really shrill sound, which is where you get a lot of your shot goblin from. So you wanna condition it all the way from here to here. The key to this box is you have to be very delicate on the surface and not really get rough with it. So going back to what we might would use on other, which would be these. The caution of these, I will remind you, void this if it has soap in it or if it has, it's been used before, or if on the packaging, be sure it says on the packaging, it does not have any mixtures of soap or chemicals. Um, you can get by with these. These are just readily available. It's a lot easier than telling you to go find some non-woven from your hardware store. Sometimes these are difficult to find, but if you can find these, use them, they're great. The key to this is you can add chalk to the back side and it does help with this particular box to come in here and kind of clean off some of the surface and remove some of the, the debris or oil or things like that. And then you're able to come in and clean off your top surface without any risk of je jeopardizing it. And then if you come back with this, because these are so fine, they're made to not scratch uh, stuff when you're cleaning with them. But if all you have is a 220, let's say let's take the 220. The main thing is just don't put a lot of pressure. Just barely let it sit on top of the surface and kind of go back and forth. And then you work your condition and at that point, then start doing your X pattern in it and kind of run an X pattern back and forth across it. The key to the X is, is just to making sure that we don't line up at any time with sanding grooves that are going up and down with this the line here. So you don't want those grooves to be lined up with this in any way at any time so that it don't make it jump or skip. You can see just doing that with no chalk, it sounds really good. That's all it takes to prep this box. Just do not go overboard with these tight boxes. Do not do a lot of sanding. And definitely, whatever you do, stay away from the heavy, heavy grits on them. Once you complete it, these all come with the chalk that we use. Just take the chalk, let's see. Take your normal chalk and just lightly be conservative on your chalk and just use just a little bit on it. There's no real need to go down your top of your surface. I see people do that. The advantage to doing that, it's not gonna hurt it, but the, you just don't need to have to pour it to it. The only advantage to doing that is, is lightly going down that is to prevent oil from your fingers or something getting into it. That's the only reason you do it. It doesn't require, but you're fixing to apply it anyway. And so when you do that, you will go ahead and apply the chalk to it, which is what's gonna protect that. So that's pretty much it on a long box. Nothing difficult about it. Just avoid as much as you can getting too aggressive with the sanding on it. It's made to be high pitch like that. Um, and it, it's designed that way for a purpose. On a long box, I will mention the one thing on your screw up here, try not to adjust your screw a whole lot. You know, if you, if you decide you want to adjust the screw on it, we did an Allen wrench on it. We did an Allen wrench for a reason. That way, when you put the wrench in there, they all have an L on it. Be sure you get the one with the L and that way you can remember the number of turns you do. We purposely stayed away from devices that you hand wrist turn so that you can clock how many turns. So if you clock it one way and it sounds better, great. If you don't, you can go back that one loop. And that's how you would tune on that as far as adjusting sound if you felt like it was not reaching the right spot.